A tour of the Greenwood District brought people from Oklahoma as well as out of state to downtown Tulsa. They are here to learn about the history and changes we've seen in the past 100 years. The bus tour is leading up to a symposium being held this week. News on 6's Kristen Weaver went along on the tour. Vanessa Adams Harris told the visitors at the beginning of the tour, Greenwood is more than just one street. Her goal in today's bus tour was to open some eyes about all the places that thrived here a hundred years ago. For purposes of giving people a good idea of actually where the African American community was living under legal segregation during the massacre. She took people north first to neighborhoods and schools, stopping at the Ellis Walker Woods Memorial Center near OSU Tulsa. The center honors the first principal of Booker T. Washington High School and its alumni. It made my heart just leap when I saw this. Barbara Littlejohn recognized one immediately. This is Miss Dorothy DeWitty. She was my principal when I was teaching at Tulsa Public School. She was given the job, the honor of being one of the first educators to open up the magnet school, Walt Whitman. She is a dynamic leader. The tour continued past landmarks like Oaklawn Cemetery and Black Wall Street to downtown where plaques named black owned businesses that once stood here. The history of what has taken place in this city. Yvonne Thompson and Beth Messner traveled from Indiana for the symposium and for this tour. They've been to Tulsa before and hope to learn updates on the race massacre and mass graves investigation. Let's learn from the experience, take it back to where we live and help uh, with reconciliation efforts in our cities. The John Hope Franklin Center National Symposium continues tomorrow and Friday. In Tulsa, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.